Hello and welcome to my video on how to access the Corsa D secret menu. This is to personalise your settings on the car. Uh, this car is a 2012 Corsa D. So, to start off, put your ignition key into the ignition, but don't turn it. And then pull both stalks back towards you for three seconds until the personal menu comes up. There you go, so you can see P1, so that's the first of the automatic settings. So to cycle through the automatic settings, you use your indicator bus, your indicator stalk, and to alter between the two of them, so to switch them on or off, use the wiper stalk. So to get back in, let's pull both stalks back together. There we go, P1. So P1 is your welcome light, so when you lock and unlock the car, uh, your lights will come on, so let's leave that on. And then push the indicator stalk up, you get to P2. So that's auto rear wiper. This is quite handy. It's if you've got the wipers on, when you engage reverse, uh, the rear wiper will come on. So you need the wipers on to do it, but your rear wiper will come on automatically. Really, really handy. So let's leave that on. P3 is lane change indicator. So that's your three flashes. If you just touch the indicator stalk up or down, I will leave that on. P4, uh, auto tailgate and door locking. I leave this on. So once you go over about 10 miles an hour, it automatically locks your doors and your tailgate. So quite helpful if you're a single occupant or you're worried about safety. So let's leave that on. P5 is driver door unlocking only on one button. I leave that on. Really, really handy as well. So you don't have... Uh, other doors that could open if you're in a dark car park or P6 is speed limiter so you can set a speed limiter for the car not sure what that will go up to but 155 feels a bit ambitious so let's turn that off but if you want to limit your speed to 155 there's the button and then pay P7, again, quite handy, is your indicator volume. So the volume of your indicators when you're driving along. So I have that on three. So to save your settings, what you need to do is pull both stalks back towards you again. You'll hear it beep and then it goes off. And then that's your uh, settings stored for the car. The settings are stored per key. So for the main key, that's when I use those settings will be the same for me. Should my wife want to use the car and she uh, unlocks it and uses her key, the settings will be quite different. So, um, so there you go. That's how to access the Corsa D secret menu and personalise your car. Thanks for watching. Take care.